Hello, beautiful, and welcome to Makeup Poppy Love is back! She's back again, and we are going to do so much. Oh, I'm just so happy that I get to paint my face again, in all honesty. But today, I have been getting lots of different requests. I'm trying to, like, work through them so that everyone, you have fun time, but you also get some educations, yes? Yes! Okay, so... One request that I keep getting is how do you just make sure that like any kind of color work on your face when it comes to the eyeshadow? So I want to show you the like pattern, the like blueprint for all of my colorful looks. This is, this process is what I use every single tutorial and that is how I always look stunning every single tutorial but before we get to that I have to pass you on to someone and pass you on to their wise words of wisdom so without further ado let me give you some educations from a dear friend of mine Dr. Pilaf your class is ready thank you Pilaf I am Dr. Pilaf I will be your professor today I graduated from Yas Queen University with a Bachelor of Makeups with a major of personality and a minor in blending. But now that we all know my credentials, let us get on to the lesson. Nobody clocked my whiteboard. There is nowhere to stick it. They did not give me a room which had like an actual whiteboard attachment. So we are just going to have to use what we have. So this is my trusty dusty whiteboard. This is nice little you are a whiteboard marker, yes? Now, I do understand that Dr. Pilaf's artistic skills are in the same line of Picasso or like Vincent van Gogh, but please, everyone, hold your gasps of amazement until the end of the lesson. Okay, so this is our eyeball. That is our crease. That is our inner corner. That is, look, you know what an eye is, yes? Excellent. Okay, so when it comes to monochromatic or like colorful kind of makeups there is a certain way to do things or a certain way that Dr. Pilaf does things and this will work for any color that you decide to go with so what we want to do you get your medium color yes medium color and you just pack that everywhere once you have done that in this section of the eyeball the eyelid in this section of the eyelid the outer corner that is where you start to pack in the dark color and you start to blend it out. It is a lot harder to blend with a whiteboard marker. That way you have nice definition along your crease and then it fades in so it is kind of like a smoky effect. Yes, and then you get your light color and you just use that up here to blend a bit more until you have a nice little arch that goes up to the brow and everyone is like, ooh, that blending. Okay, so then once you have done that, you want to cut your crease. So, you get some scene stick. You cut out your crease with a brush. Just because I say cut out does not mean we get to play with any knives. We do not use knives. So once you do that, yes, yes, once you do that, you get a light shimmery kind of color that fits in with the rest of it, yes? Okay, and then you put that in here. Then you put the shimmery color over the top of your scene stick. Then once that is done, blend this baby cakes with your medium color so then this whole entire section is nice and blended but still like oh, oh. Just get yourself a bit of highlight we put that there a cute little circle of highlight put a bit of highlight up here blend it into the light color and then just flick drag hope for best feathers oh wait i forgot the under eye wait no for the feathers people forgot the step do not judge her before the feathers but before the liner you do the under eye yes so we get the dark color that we put in our outer corner and we put it in here so I'm going to whiteboard marker please if you could keep working that would be grand and then we get the medium color or the light color depends whatever tickles your fancy and then we just blend that out into the under eye section okay and then you put the highlight and then you put the liner and then you do the feathers and the lashes this will work for any color. Any color. This will work. There is no whiteboard marker on my hand. Now that we have had this cute little moment, I will pass it back to actual peel off, not Dr. Peel off, but actual peel off. That way you can really see this plan come to life on our face. 
Thank you, Pilof. Thank you, Professor Pilof. Now that we have our little makeup's blueprint, we are just going to get into the actual makeups. Okay, so once again, I start with the scene stick and I'm going to put it all over my goggles. So I just get a little brush and I get my fancy beauty. What shade am I in? 130. I think that is called for pale bitch. Now that the cute little leathering of our scene stick is on, we actually get to get onto the eye chalks. So I have used this blueprint in two. Uh, Actually, pretty much all of my videos so far, but the ones that are most obvious are my first welcome to makeups, which like thumbnail, and then my naturally want to be a flamingo makeups, which thumbnail. So, because I've already done a blue and a pink, I'm going to pick two other colors that definitely do not complement each other because who wants to blend in? You want to stand out! So, I'm going to do purple and yellow. So, I think for this tutorial, I'm going in with my Holy Grail makeup palette, which is my Murphy 35 Color Burst P palette, which I am still saying wrong. And then my Jawbreaker! I just, I love this palette. I've got to stop biting it though. Oh, there's a teeth mark. Oh, that, that is not going to buff out. Oh well, she exists like that now. I'm going to start with the yellow side, so I'm going to use this wow. Wait, wow? Wow! Color all over that side. Okay, so I'm just going to get any kind of brush that I have that will do the trick. And I am just going to pack, 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 pack on the yellow on my eye. And then because yellow is already such a light color, you can just kind of like, because it is a big fluffy brush, you can just kind of blend it in, buff it in, and then we will blend that in with a highlight after. So just kind of fade it up with itself. Like, yellow does not need no man. Yellow is an independent baby cakes in the scenario of this makeups tutorial. I don't know in other situations. Maybe, maybe, maybe yellow wants to be a little bit, a little bit weak, a little bit vulnerable, if that makes sense. Why am I just making up a whole entire like plot line to a rom-com just like surrounding yellow and its personality traits? And now that yellow is nice and blended out, I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette. And there is this color. Once again, I have lost all the names for this palette. So we are going to go with two across, three down. This baby cakes. So we are just going to get that purple because it is a nice medium purple. And I'm going to get it on whatever brush this is. So therefore, I'm just going to pick, 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 pick that over everything. And then for our cute little purple panda eye, I'm going to get this goom drop color and then a different fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend out some of the colors. Oh, pilaf! The heavy handedness, baby cakes, needs to cease and desist. Now the purple is nice and blended out. Of course, we have to do the same thing to yellow. So because there's only really one degree of yellow. There is no real like dark yellow because like in my head dark yellow is just a fancy way of saying orange. So therefore I'm going to get the Jawbreaker color orange. Oh, that was a bit dusty. That was a bit too vigorous peel off. Settle petal. Ethereal angelic movements. Either way, I'm going to use sock and put that in the outer corner according to our blueprint. And then I'm just going to blend that so that there is some depth. Really, eyeshadows is just like contouring your eyeball shape. Now that the top lids are blended to perfection, I am just... Look, the, the color composition, I'm not going to lie, looks a little bit crazy, but at the same time, I vibe a little bit crazy. So now that that is done, we are just going to bless, just going to bless our bottom lashes with the same kind of composition. So dark to light, blend it, buff it out, make sure there's a good amount of pigment because otherwise your eyes kind of look like a mullet. Business at the front, party at the back! And like, mullets are a questionable choice. And then I'm going to get the dark color, uh, the dark purple and put it on the bottom of the other one. Then I'm going to blend this out with yellow and then, yes. As you can see from this tutorial, most makeup tutorials are quite repetitive once you understand and are aware of the existence of the eyeshadow blueprint. Now that everything is nice and blended, we are up to the creasing cut. Cutting crease. The, the crease cutting. We're going to mow our face with some sin stick. Okay, so now that that analogy is failed and out of the way, I'm just going to get some of my sin stick and I am going to get a little, little brush. I have one somewhere. This is my cheap sin stick, I apologize. And I'm going to put that on the back of my hand because she's our best friend and we know her. Like the back of her hand. So I'm going to put that there, a nice helping. And I'm going to cut my crease with a tiny little brush. So I've said this in a few tutorials, 
in fear of repeating myself, the way that I cut my crease is I look down upon my enemies. Left eye, I'm looking at you, my consistent, consistent enemy. Oh, your worst enemy is yourself. No, no, no. My worst enemy is my left eye refusing to behave. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to look down and then I am going to just get some scene stick on a little brush And then I'm just going to follow like my natural curve the reason I look down is because if I do not oh I already failed at following my own instructions if I do not look down the scene stick she's smudgy everywhere and then like It just does not look as flawless and then just wait for it to get a little bit tacky not like dry but like a little bit Set in its ways, a little bit stubborn. Okay, I've been standing like this for like two or so minutes, so... Okay, left eye. Please, baby cakes. Oh, you didn't do so badly! Oh, left eye! Oh, baby cakes, yes! We are back! We are back in the game, oh yes! Mwah. Now that scene stick is on, we get to get on with the shimmers and the glitter and just the real wow factor of the makeup look. So I'm going to work on the yellow side first. Morphe has this like light kind of gold shade and then Jawbreaker. Ooh, I think the color is called Lemon Drop. Lemon Drop! Excellent, I got it. That one looks a lot lighter than this one. So I think I'm going to start with that one on the inside and then that one on the outside. Just a real definition with this. And then I'm just going to pack it on the inside where the scene stick was. I love this color. I love the shimmer. I love the payoff. Pilof is a golden god. There is this shimmery kind of purple shade in the Morphe palette, and then Jawbreaker has, I don't remember the names of this one. Ooh! Jawbreaker has bite me, which is like, I don't think I would be delicious. Also, like, I think that is also classified as cannibalism, and that is frowned upon and illegal in most countries and societies. So, like, I would not recommend it. Okay, I'm going in with a light shimmery purple. What? And I'm putting that on the inside. And then I'm going to, why am I deciding to sound like a chihuahua today? Okay, so I'm just going to put the light shimmery purple on the inside and then fade it out with the dark shimmery purple from the Jawbreaker palette called Bite Me. We are just going to do a teeny bit of highlighting so Jawbreaker has a beautiful shimmery color called Jawbreaker. Okay, so I'm just going to get Jawbreaker and I'm just going to pop her in my inner corner and I'm really going to pack that on because like I want people to know that the inner corner of my eye really exists. Be like, hello sir! I'm here. I'm beautiful. Give me compliments. And then I'm just going to pop some under my brow bone as well because like I have no self-control and I want this all over my face! Now that the beautiful highlight is on, that is it for the eye chalks. Our blueprint is on. Mid color, dark color, buff it out, glitter, shimmers, cut crease, all that kind of stuff. Now that that is done, we get to get onto the best part. The part that really ties it all together. But the part that I absolutely loathe doing. So let's just have a cute little intimate moment so that you could actually see what I am doing. Do not clock the brow hair that is just, it is sitting somewhere there. I hate it with an absolute passion. But every time I go at it with some peachy boys, it is a stubborn little hair. I will I need my glasses on while I do it, but like, it's hard to... <laughs> Okay, so if you're not new here, hello, welcome back, and you already know, pray for peel of safety. But if you are new here, hello, welcome, welcome to the family, welcome to the chaos. But the way the peel of does her eyeliner, it is very, very complex, very difficult. She flicks, she drags, and then she hops for back. So we are going to go with left eye first today, because left eye is the pesky baby cake. So maybe if we go with the bad cakes first, like start with the bad news, go end with the good news, yes? Okay, so I'm just going to sit it here. And, oh, I already hate this. Okay, here, flick. Oh! Left eye. On camera, it looks a bit busted, but in person it does not look as busted. Okay, I can fix it. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay, so there's the flick, here's the drag. What is happening? Le Left eye, I always wanted you to behave, but I never understood what it would be like for you to behave, and now I am very, very confused. But okay, alright, and now that that is done, 
fill in the rest and then try and make the right right matchup. I need for my brain to be able to process what just happened because left eye finally agreed with right eye. I just there there was a comment somewhere on one of my videos to whoever that was let yourself be known in these comments because they were like oh maybe if you do left eye first and I was like <laughs> maybe if I do left eye first that was the most genius idea I've ever heard in my life because left eye finally agreed and I am so proud of you and if I knew how to shed a tear I would okay well now that that is done we get to go on to the iPad to prepare my eyes for the gloriousness that is my eye feathers. I get my guillotine first and I clamp them and then put on some mascara. Some people are like, oh, why do you do that first? And that is because I have the saddest, droopiest lashes in existence. Like they are the definition of like a Buzz Killington. So I just give them a bit of a lift. That way there is something for my eye feathers to actually stick to. So that way they don't just slide off and end up on my chinny chin chin. Because like I already have some hairs on my chin and like I do not need to add to that. So the eye feathers I'm using today are some of my... I just... Pilof has like one set of like subtle eye feathers and then most of the other eye feathers are like Oh we aren't in Kansas anymore Toto! That kind of thing. The ones where I blink it is just kind of like BOOM! Hello Pilof. With the eye feathers, I get my pinchy boys, put the feathers in them. I think these are one, I think these are the ones called opulence. You own everything. And then I am just going to wait for the glue to get tacky. And I'm going to be patient this time. But while I wait for that to dry, I am just going to go in with my brows. I do not do anything fancy for brows. I just, I just want luxurious caterpillar brows. Like some people want those sharp, like I could cut you like brows but I just I want fluffy like Cara Delevingne kind of brows so I hold my mirror with my pinchy boys one hand pray to the heavens that like I do not slip with my left hand because left hand is just as useless as left eye go figure and then I just feel in my brows eyebrows are now filled in they're looking so caterpillary so fluffy toffy and by the looks of it my eyelashes are Look, some of it is definitely not tacky, but like most of it is tacky, so like majority wins! So I put this on on top of my actual lashes and then like, but not on the actual lashes and then just pinch them together and then hope that when I'm removing this glorious masterpiece, I don't take off my actual eyelashes because like I need those. Excellent. And then I just kind of pinch them together so that they are nice and secure. Because these ones are so big and fluffy duffy, they do not fit in the guillotine, so I cannot clampy them together. But now that these ones are on, of course, just do the same thing to left eye, bless it with the same kind of brilliant feathers are now on, and look at that little blow away action, yes! Okay, so now, now our goggles, they are done, our goggles, look, just... Look, I would not pair purple and yellow together, personally, but I really just wanted to showcase, like, that you can do this with pretty much any color composition just maybe because it will match look it demonstrates my point but does not demonstrate my beauty but at the same time i do kind of like how messed up it looks i just beloved likes to be different oh my god sk 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 now the foundations okay so beloved keeps buying herself some bys some just cheap kmart foundations and there have been a few comments being like, whoo, that does not match baby cakes. And like, the thing is, is like, I'm very aware. Like, the foundations is not good foundations, but at the same time, like, it, it, yeah. I don't have excuses. It is more so that like, I am cheap and that is what I can afford. And like, it just, yeah. but either way, I decided to go shopping, which I do enjoy doing, but they did go into a store and I was like, oh, can I have your cheapest foundation that will match my skin type and skin color? And apparently the cheapest was $70. <sighs> so I'm just going to get myself a brush and the foundation and then just brush it on where you are supposed to put foundations. Foundations is just one of those things where like it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, oh, you have skin there that you want to cover? put on the foundations. Like there are some parts of tutorial where it is just kind of like redundant to say out loud. So for contour, I'm just going to get my beautiful boy Mark and you can see how much I love my beautiful boy Mark. And then I am just going to do a fish face. And then fill in the crevices. And then for nose, just a cute little flick. And then a cute little flick. 
People have just remembered that she doesn't actually own a blush. Whoops. For today's tutorial, I'm not going to use a blush only because I do not own one that would actually like complement any of this and like I do not want to look like absolutely mental and do like big clown cheeks. So we are just going to move on to some highlighter. So I am just going to use the Jawbreaker eyeshadow in this palette as my highlighter because I love this freaking color and also it will complement the inside of my eyes. So just a big fluffy brush and then I'm just going to put her on <gasps> on my cheekbones. Oh yes. Yes! And then that face. To get the cupid ball. Mm, we are looking so scrum diddly yumptious. Just a cute little doo doo and a cute little boo boo and then the dust. With everything now on, the only thing we have left to do is some lipsticks because at the moment I look like I don't really have a mouth with the amount of foundations that I've put on. So there's a few options you could go with. You could just go with a beautiful weirdo Mr. Star lipstick or you could go for something like a nude. The only issue with this is that the purple is definitely a cool kind of undertone whereas the yellow is definitely a warm kind of undertone. So the black is probably the easiest because like black goes with everything, especially my coffee order. But I I've done the black lips so often lately that I think I'm going to go the nude and the closest one that I can find to match all of them is this like Chi Chi, what are you, sex bomb kind of lipstick. So I'm just going to put it on. I do not own a lip liner. I just, I am too lazy to own a lip liner. So I just follow the natural curvature of my lips because I have some good, I look not to toot my own horn because I am like, I am so humble. Like I'm the most humble person on the interwebs. But I have good lips. I just, I have really good lips, so I can just follow those quite easily. I am blessed with my lip curvature. But with the lipstick now on, we are done! And I just look, even though the yellow and purple, I can, I can admit, it does not go together like super well at the same time. Is this not a magnificent moment? Look at, I just, mm, once again, peel off. You have demonstrated your abilities. You have demonstrated like what it is to be a makeup goddess. And we just, we look so fantastic. I'm so happy. Happy dance with peel off. Everybody, little dance break. Imagine the flashy little colorful lights and the music. And then like a big tambourine in the background, like With all of this on, and now because peel off is a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, there's only one thing left to do. And that is a sexy, a slow mouse. And then flip the button. Boom. <laughs> but now that the makeup is on and you know the blueprint to perfect eyeshadow, to perfect colorful looks, you can do this with yellow. You can do this with purple. You can do this with blue. You can do this with pink. You can do this with any color that you like. And then once you get comfortable with yourself, you've had some practice. You've had some fun. Just start monochromatic moment. It's, it is just an absolute party. It is a festival. It is just every kind of color comes together and they just have a magnificent time and just, oh, so much beauty. But now that this is all on and sexy slumbers are done, there is nothing left to do. That is it for today's tutorial. It is, this is, this is always the saddest part of the videos because we must say goodbye. We must depart. But before we depart, you have to know, you do not need this amount of makeups to look beautiful. You are already beautiful. But do not forget, no matter if you're wearing this amount of makeups, less makeups or no makeups, you need to go out there into the world and show them how stunning you are. Show them how flawless you are. Show them how scrum diddly umptious you are. They should bow down to you in your presence. You are just that stunning. And when you are out there in the world showing them, making them take in every single piece of what you are, remember what dear mother always says. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel.